Hello everybody, this is TSDL Season 8, Round of 4. We have Spike MH versus Real Alicia Sim. Now, previously we've seen Spike's box. It still maintains three healers. It's a three healer, two tank box, so that automatically tells you that Spike is more so leaning towards the tank push side of things. Spike's game plan is to ideally get a tank and a healer. Whereas Real Alicia Sip we've seen... We've seen some different boxes out of, and this is definitely an interesting box. We have Ultimuler, who I think is very good at busting turtles. Alicia's right here. Um, Ultimuler has a lot of stuff he can do with his pull. He's good at counter-killing a unit with his 3C. That gives him plus two mobility from one of his passives. Um, but yeah, if we look at Simp's box, then it's an Empire box. Burns got brought out as well. And we see the Emmerich. Emmerich plus ult is a very powerful combo. Um, it does have to be timed very precisely. But if you put Emmerich's 3C onto Ultimuler, then Ultimuler can pull them in with this pull. And the one block range is just enough to disable the tank at that point and then Ultimular can get a kill that way. So, Real Alicia Simp first bans the Verner. You can... and first picks Raza, which it, I think that's excellent with this box. It's very Empire-leaning, it, and it creates... or it enables Ultimular so he doesn't have to run his faction buff, and almost everything else in this box is Empire, except Alicia. Oh. As for what Spike's banning, he bans out the Pepsi, Definitely has more of a single target focused box on the Spike side of things. So Pepsi is very potent against single target. It's AoE that you really need to effectively deal with him, whether it be to stop him from hiding or just the fact that Pepsi isn't that bulky against AoE. These are both old players. Um, Spike is a OG, and Real Alicia Simp is an ancient ruin player, which means his account is around two years old, and their other name is YZ. But they are simp. <laughs> they are simp now. You can beat these newbies blind. Yeah, well, uh, I don't see your name anywhere on the ranking, so... <laughs> anyway, Spike bans out Bernhardt and Lucretia. Lucretia, I think, is mostly getting banned for her AoE. Whereas uh, Bernhardt is getting banned for a potential sword dance heal block thing going on here. Um, real uh, Simp is banning out Lucretia. Is going to be playing with a off tank, in terms of, or let's just say they're playing with a tank that can only have a physical guard. You know? And um, Autocrado here. Azusa is Spike's last way at that point to get around that. So Spike saw that coming and banned pick. Simp's next choice is to ban the Pepsi does have some AoE to deal with it, but Pepsi is still an endgame menace with his healing, his shield that makes it really difficult to remove him. And then bans out Archon, who is a bulky unit with a revive. Pull is very effective, it can bypass Autocrato's guard range. You can jump into the back line and kill stuff, and then it takes two actions to kill him after that. So, a good trade unit. I, I know you're good? Well, uh, I don't think you're as good as either of these players. I'll be honest. Sorry, Arnold, but it's just the truth. So, Helena gets picked up. I think Spike is mostly just picking Helena here. I mean, she's not going to be that effective against a tank. And Rosin. Yeah, I, I like Sherry, but at the same time, Sherry doesn't do too much either. And Helena is a pretty surprising pick over there. <laughs> sure, Arnold. Sure. <laughs> um, yeah, no. Helena, I think it's... I guess she is the highest range unit here. Emmerich does get banned. Spike doesn't want to play into that all Emirate combo. 
get Chrissy bypass, and then people go down. Although, Ult can't really kill Azusa. Um, and then IBC gets banned to not give um, an easy attack buff or the soldier buff to Sim's team. And more pertinently, the mobility buff would be scary. And there are... Yeah. Bans out Tiaris. Do you hear me twice? Um... Yeah, I, sh I just checked. I don't have my stream up in the background. <laughs> you might have it up twice. I don't know. Um, anyway. Bans out Tjust. I think that's mostly just to ban out teleport plays. And then just banning out the last DPS in the box. Tiaris gets banned. Doesn't want to have attack blessing or the additional mobility on Simp's side. And for the last ban, Simp chooses to ban out Liana and Sissy. This is solely just to ban the act again. So I can see what Spike's game plan here is. It's you don't need um, Azusa. Azusa is the game plan here. Azusa's here to walk up, one shot the Autocrata, and then Helena and Elwyn have their opportunity to run rampant. Elwyn is a bit less effective here because he isn't putting down any debuffs because of this Rosin Seal. Um, still a good unit. Still can probably... Uh, he'll definitely kill Alicia. He could struggle to kill Sissy and Ultimuler, but Ultimuler might have to bring... <laughs> Excuse me. Ultimuler might have to bring green troops for that. The general alt build is Bracer, so Twilight Star wouldn't be effective. Um, Rosin Seal would also be a target. <laughs> Both of me, yeah. When I started my stream, I had my stream playing in the background with my music before I was talking. <laughs> and I didn't notice for like five minutes. So. That's, I, I immediately went to check for that. But yeah, uh, I think Spike's game plan is pretty clear. Azusa one-shot Autocrato, and then Helwyn and Elena, or Helwyn, Elwyn and Helena get to play. I guess that's their ship name. Um, and uh, Simp's game plan, on the other hand, is mostly based around this Ultimuler. Ultimuler is looking to get in a really nice pull. The best emote, Moth Man. Of course I have Moth Man. I'm listening to SMT4 soundtrack. <laughs> SMT4A more specifically. So this is Crush. And it very well could be Twilight Star, but it looks the int looks a bit low. I think it should be around 450 if it's Twilight Star. Brings Crush anyway. I mean, Helena could potentially do enough damage to enable that. Rosin chooses to bring Mass Crystal Heal Healing Miracle and, of course, Faction Buff for this team. Very necessary. Ultimuler with his standard setup full, passive, and 3C. And since Autocrat is against the Rosin, he brings uh, Sword's Breath instead of Provoke. Sword's Breath will allow Autocrato to do another AoE after action, or after attacking with 3C or something, maybe an endgame, and he can steal a bit more buffs. I mean, Provoke functionally does nothing if you have no way to get through Rosin's back, so it's mostly you just bring it because Provoke doesn't do anything. Alicia also has Grenade Blast. It's worth mentioning that's another win condition that Simp has here. You use Alicia to displace, and then that could give ult a pull or knock somebody out of tank range.
bit of dead air, but not too much to say. Both players are just going to continue to position. Um, Simp probably needs to... Or the biggest thing for Simp right now is to avoid Azusa being able to hit Autocrado. In that sense, I was thinking it could be nice for Azusa to save her movement. That way... Um, consider that if you just leave Azusa up here. This is a depth style. Like Azusa could reach here. Uh, I guess... I guess Ultimate... Or... Yeah, like Autocrado could have moved into range of Azusa if had he moved up before Azusa moved. So that's what I was thinking. Saving Azusa's action for later could be nice. I mean, your Rosin isn't doing too much. And that, you can see that was also the prompt for Simp, right? As soon as Azusa moved, he knew that it was safe to move his Autocrado. So Alicia does need allies or enemies to hop off of to get her massive movement range. She does not currently have that. Azusa does reach Alicia. And I think that Sip is offering this Alicia to Spike here. Supposing that you go in and kill Alicia with Azusa here, Alicia's not exactly some strongest win condition. Well, with two healer comp, it might be tough. Can Simp really afford a trade? Against Spike's four DP or three DPS. I suppose that is a thing. It's a bait. I think so. Yeah, you're right. You're right because. It's, it's exactly a bait, because if Azusa is killing Alicia instead of Autocrado, then Hel Helena and Elwyn can't do anything. So indeed, Simp is baiting us, because that will let Auto play. Like, absolutely must kill Auto. Alicia under Auto Aura runs Bracer. Well, um, it's Bone Crusher, but regardless. Uh, there is this Rosin Crystal Barrier. So yeah. Plus, uh, Zusa does not have an attack buff. Yeah, I didn't notice that Bracer. You know, I, I was talking with, uh, Sip about that. That, uh, just Alicia's a really good bait unit. Like, after- because after she goes in, she goes back to 100% HP. And that's what really lets her use this Grenade Blast well. She also gets like a ton of damage reduction if I remember correctly. From something. No? Oh no, yes she does, she does. Her uh... This skill. Or her talent, rather. It's <laughs> stackable. <laughs> That's wild. I mean, I don't know. Oh, it's like they keep attacking her? I see. Yeah, no, but after she uses an AoE skill, she'll get another 20% damage reduction, so that's why she could be a pretty effective bait unit. Pretty cool unit. I don't think it's surprising that we aren't seeing too much of Alicia right now, though. I mean, she just came out. Probably a lot of people don't have her 6-star. But, you know, real Alicia simp. If they didn't have a 6-star Alicia, they wouldn't be allowed to have the name. <laughs> and, like Haze mentioned, there's also the auto aura there. Well... No, I think the enemy unit has to be in range of his aura. Yeah, yeah, no, they, the enemy unit has to be within three blocks of auto for the aura to work, so Azusa could have avoided that. That's why you need to push auto up. 
Well, not necessarily in this situation, but yeah. <laughs> if you want to reap the benefits of his aura. Again, in this situation, Azusa is totally looking to kill Otto here. Can't count out the act again now, but with Sissy it is a little more awkward to uh, use act again to flip over third priority. It's still an option, but I think Azusa will probably reach Autocrata before it would come back up. I guess even with Liana it's the same sort of issue these days, where it's the same cooldown. And it is also a Bracer Alt, his standard build. Long-term investment? That is, so put up some buffs. Is this, uh, is her thingy dispellable? Cannot be dispelled, I see. And it only stacks up to twice. I'm just wondering that for Ellen here. But Spike did bring Ellen 3C. So... I mean... Well, firstly, if Sent manages to stall out, your Ellen three your Ellen will run out of a faction buff and he'll have no way to refresh it short of a unit being traded. Which is what Azusa is here for. I would... So, Sim probably did want to move Alta Mueller first before casting buff with Raza. Now there's an awkward two-turn period where Alta Mueller is not going to have a faction buff here. Or an awkward one-turn period. It's really important with Alt to not lose that because he doesn't work without a faction buff. So, does Sim need to make... Is Sim planning on making something happen now? Looks like a Overlord's badge, Autocrato. Or is it Bracer? Look at that MDEF! It's a Bracer Auto, huh? So let's just pass it out all the Bracers. I, I, I don't think you can have that high of MDEF on him without Bracer. And the HP, the HP is way too low to be Overlord's badge. Could it be Heart of Gaia? Huh. Perplexing. I mean, it's definitely one of those two. There's nothing that could give the information on which in this game, though. Um, other than maybe Azusa, but I, I'm assuming if Azusa hits this Autocrato, he might just, he'll probably just die. But yeah, just Simp is stalling out a bit. Wants to burn down that L1 faction buff. Autocrato has not gotten, or not Autocrato, Ultimuler has not gotten a breeze, which is the saddest thing as an Autocrato, or, God! It's the saddest thing as an alt player to not get Breeze. He gets it for two turns, you so, uh, after three turns of actions to not have gotten Breeze is unlucky, definitely.
Autocrado guard is down. So that's why this positioning like this, that way Elwyn or Helena can't just hop in. Puts up Mass Crystal Healing. Or, I think that was a Zeusa, actually. Or, sorry, that was a... Why is he... Or, Simps. <laughs> Raz and Seal. Um, puts up Mass Crystal Healing on everybody after they've moved. Gives them a nice two turns of it. Alt himself also does want to spend some time stacking. Just to guarantee his kill ranges. Every turn he gets one of these buffs. So you do want to spend at least three turns stacking. Because that's when you don't get any more unless you start engaging in combat. Axe again the Rosin. So, Simp decides I will take turn priority, or I will give you turn priority. I want you to come into me, or Simp wants Spike to attack him. Use alt to counter kill something if it comes in. And next turn, L1 faction buff will be going down. I think I liked I, I like to see as an option here, but again, Zeus is the trade unit. You ideally want to just send her in. At the same time, there's not much reason for Spike to push hard. Wants to be wary of the Altamula range. Also acting again Rosin to get that faction buff back up. That way Alt will not have that turn of downtime. Lana can't really reach anything. Miracle was casted. That's what I missed last turn. I had to look at something. Oh no, she just casted it. Sorry. So four, four turns until that's up. Christie's first attack is up. So punching her is difficult. What's this tank push nonsense? <laughs> I'm sorry, Zansom. Yeah, I, did, I didn't expect uh, Simp to bring out this sort of box. It was a very heavy Empire box with Emmerick and stuff. <laughs> YOLO. Well, Spike's been playing tank push this entire season, so I expected that. Um, Simp definitely has been playing very aggressively in its previous game, so... I think it's interesting to see this sort of composition and see some play a bit slower. <laughs> they learned from me, the pussy master. Uh, well, I'll take that as a compliment. At least I'm a master of something, right? <laughs> oh, so damn, yeah, fair enough. I should have figured. I don't think I'm a master of being a coward now, or a pussy. <laughs> Game plan remains the same. Spike is being. Very careful to position. That way Ultimuler can't just get a pull without the taken range, so Christy pretty much always has to be the one pulling forward. You gotta like leapfrog your units basically to avoid this. 
toxic chat. You're very. So yeah, both players just sitting here. Now there's two guards. It's that that, that is worth mentioning that that's another way for Simp to get around Autocrado potentially just dying to Azusa here. You still have the sissy guard afterwards to prevent Ellen and Helena from going in. Spike seems content to occupy the middle of the map. Autocrado 3C is going to be very relevant. It could open up a push or a pull for Autocrado very easily. Both in how it forces, it. well, no, there, there will, there, it'll pretty much just be the displacement effect or the teleport effect rather that can shuffle around some units and potentially give Ultimate or pull you wouldn't have otherwise since there's Rod and Seal, so no debuffs are going through. Fog gonna close up, alt can pull everyone into fog. Yes! This alt's having a really unlucky breeze game though. Uh four turns with no breeze. <laughs> that that would be pretty interesting. Can't see any chance for left to win? Well, Dancing has the one. <laughs> alt pulls everybody into fog. <laughs> It is 3 DPS against 3 DPS, but Autocrado is definitely the worst the worst of the DPS if you stack them up against each other. Yeah, uh, Autocrado stealing Christy Guard is another sort of win condition here. Um, Christy did just refresh her guard, so it'll be three turns until that's up. That is, uh, not the strongest of win conditions, like, what is that chance? Yeah, that's a 1 in 10, so 10%. Alt does not have any to spell. Alicia did bring Grenade Blast, yes. That, that, that was another one of the win conditions here. Does, does Alicia have this? Yeah, um, she just she does a spell 5 buff, so. There's another win condition. Um, Alicia walks in, potentially dispels Christie's guard, then Ulta Mueller can hop in and pull everybody and get a double kill, maybe. Definitely get a kill on Elwyn. Probably, well, probably can't kill Azusa. Um, could kill Helena, but Helena's been careful to stay away. Auto guard is up. This is a forest. Is this another attempt to bait the Azusa? Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> I don't think this will. Well. Yeah. Does not come close. At the same time, Spike does have turn priority. So you can do this hit for free, pretty much. Um, Azusa can just run right back into Christie guard range after this. Is there a good position to do that? Yep. 
Azusa can just run right back here. Again, looking out for the alt pull. And it is random whether this moves people back one or two blocks. If it moves them two blocks, then obviously you're pushing somebody out of guard range. That's pretty nice. Alicia is gonna try her hand. I don't think she can kill. Yeah. I don't think Alicia had an attack buff, but even then, I don't think it really matters. Um, it does. Okay, yeah, Alicia just or not oh, Azusa takes all life. But because she had to use a magic attack to ignore the guard, she couldn't get her shield back up. So it does end up being a one for one. However, I would say Ultimuler was a lot more important to Sim's team than Azusa was to Spike's team. Still, now Elwyn and Helena can't really do much. I guess they already weren't going to be able to do too much because you kill the Autocrotto, and then there's just Sissy Guard after that, and... But yeah, so if you get rid of Alt, who can pull Spike out of the center and into the fog, and then Sim could potentially body block after that, that does seem like a stronger way to win. But now, Spike can just sit in the center, and Simp's gonna be the one that has to do something. Spike has the better position on the center right now. Spike has turn priority. Or, no, Spike lost turn priority because he killed a unit that hadn't moved yet. Ultimately. Yeah, full speed to the middle now. Like, honestly, probably could have pushed up a bit more earlier. But it's difficult against Alt. It's a real pain. <laughs> I have to be very precise. So I, I understand. <laughs> Alicia can push off guard, but no one can one shot unguarded unit anyway. Yeah, except Alicia herself. And that sort of play is probably better with turn priority as well. Which Simp did choose to give up. I suppose there is still the Grenade Blast Displacement to push Spike out of the middle. Sissy did bring Dismiss. Here we have it. Spike occupying pretty much all of the tiles in the center. With just these two. There again, there's grenade blast to push Spike out of here. But as Creamy Mommy said, there is no unit that can kill after that. <laughs> so while it could normally be concerning to move Christy into that after she could get displaced, there's no threat. I guess there is an Alicia Act Again play that could come out from this. But Alicia doesn't have her 3C up. She had to use it to kill Azusa. Honestly, that could have been a mistake. She might not have had to do anything at all there. Just double attack Alicia or Azusa without using 3C at all, and that could I think that would be enough to kill her. And you could have saved 3C. Oh, so I'm sent to make something happen here. 
At least she does have a rack again, so this is actually a three turn cooldown. And she can even, it has a very short cooldown, so it, it would actually be up in two turns, I think. Supposing that you use, um, yeah, grenade blast. This pushes Blaine out of guard range, but there's no way to kill. Or, I don't think Alicia is going to be able to kill without a skill. I mean, it's, it's Helena on terrain. Or, not terrain, it's Helena on her crystals. Again, in Royal Cavalry. Firebrand snipers. That blocked him, yeah. You just dismiss and kill after. But... The... Yeah, 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 yeah. He has turn prior. I missed that. So now Elwyn feels like he has to make something happen. So Alicia should score this kill on Helena. Then Simp will be up a unit. Elwyn can get back into the center. But the fog is closing in. This is a swamp tile though. To see farm and damage with the Smiths, as Danson mentioned. Mercenary gets put up for attack command. Yeah, not not gonna spend it on roaring away some buffs from Helena. Just wants the attack command. This is a swamp tile as well. Yeah. Spike concedes. I think Spike expects the displacement to eventually force Spike out of the center, and there is no way to get through the team. <laughs> just there's, yeah, there's just no way. I mean, you can't kill Auto with Helena or Ellen. Yeah, Zusa had to kill Autocrato. I think T Jess would be good against Sims Fox. Bring in another magic damage dealer. It's pretty clear with the Fox Sip is bringing that the game plan is not really to pick Christy or Hilda here. Spike was expecting single target rush. Yeah, I mean, it's what Simp has been playing, mostly. Uh, at the same time, you know. Simp could- I'm sure Simp sees the weakness of this gimmicky or box. It did work. Uh, Emmerich did get banned. Yeah, it makes some big swaps. Goes to the single target rush. Like I mentioned, Spike brought in the t -Jess. Expecting the same sort of box. Simps is a little, a couple steps ahead, bringing out something different. Now that you're playing the single target rush box, you first ban the Hilda. The 
Spike Six the first banning Werner. The Supreme at Tank Busting. Or not Tank Busting, at Turtle Busting. Excuse me. That is Werner is... In this meta, the Assassin with pretty much the highest skill range. Like, obviously something like Zerida can kill stuff, Werner can't. Conversely, Werner can kill stuff, Zerida can't, but I, I think most people would probably agree Zerida has a bit higher of a kill range. But her issue is, of course, set up. Simp then bans out IBC. Doesn't want to give mobility to Spike side. That mobility could be annoying on uh, Archon, it could be annoying on Pepsi, Werner, Azusa. Cherry gets a little bit of benefit. Soldier buff's always annoying, and even just the mass attack is a problem. That seemed like one of the routes Simp went with last game was to deny Spike of buffs. And I think that's a similar reason as to why Lucretia is getting banned here. Spike chooses to ban out IBC and Pepsi. Pepsi also very good at busting uh, Tank Push. Endgame Menace can take a lot of actions to kill him. He can hide, and Spike doesn't have much AoE in his box to address Pepsi just sitting there and hiding. And just IBC ban. It makes sense. <laughs> Simp's choice to deal with this Christie is Archon. <laughs> Archon has his pull. He essentially functions as an assassin. But even potentially pull Christie out of guard range of everybody and then go kill somebody, rather than, you know, pull, um, another unit and then kill them. Which can force two actions out of Spike. Or force an action out of Spike. After Archon pulls, and instead of you going to counter, you would have to move Christy to potentially guard other units from the plethora of single-target follow-up available in this box. On Simp's side. Next, Simp bans out the Rosin Seal. Lots of units that care about Rosin Seal in this box. We have Die Heart, we have Autocrato, we have Ham, we have Lucretia, we have Himiko, even Elwyn cares. And Cherry doesn't want the double kill potential. Very, very nice against tankless compositions. In that sense, she can walk up, kill something, and then kill another thing. Good action efficiency. Spike bans Wedum and Lucretia. Wedum with his hero reversal is one of the better ways to bust through this Christie. Although at the same time, supposing you have enough firepower, you could just let Christie die too. So, Lucretia also getting banned. One, for mass attack potential. Two, for AoE potential. Just a black hole coming in, and yeah. Simp takes out the healers on Spike side. And picks Himiko. Himiko is going to be a very effective answer, especially without any sort of debuff removal. Uh, to Pepsi. The damage is also going to be very annoying, and if you're trying to play in tank range, then you're going to be nice and bunched up for Himiko's purposes. Spike bans out Tilda and Autocrato. First Himiko with no healers is very Monka T indeed. Um, yeah, Hilda. Doesn't want Simp to have any sort of tank. That's also why Autocrato gets banned, and the Wedum comes out. But there is the Sissy. Is that was Simp's gonna pick? 
what do you care about the most? Werner is the shortest legs here. But yeah, you don't ban the Werner. And then I was thinking it's between Elwyn and New Rash. Because you definitely ban Tejas. You don't want to give that teleport play. Plus, Simp does pick the Sissy. That way you have a tank to absorb one hit from Pam here. Like fans out Elwyn, who is effective against Christy, and Liana. In no way Simp picks anything but Alicia, right? So, New Rash last, Archon rather. A good trade unit with his revive. A little bit of water on this map, but I don't think it's very relevant to mention. I think Spike has to play a game where he spreads out. He cannot afford to bunch up against this Himiko. It will screw up all his units' kill potential. Spike has the Wetum, who ideally is here to counter-engage and remove some annoying stuff on Simp's side. And of course Simp picks Alicia, right? Like, with this sort of name, everybody would just call you fake if you didn't. Even though I... See, the thing is, t -Dust is good here. But Alicia does still have a lot of potential, too. t -Dust is mostly good for the teleport play, because... You will, even, even supposing that you're going to be hitting into Christy is a bit false, potentially. The issue is that... Spike can't bunch up against the Teamico. You can put units two blocks below and two blocks above, and then Himiko can be forced to choose her targets. But the DPS, other than Alicia on Simp's side, don't really care about a guard anyway, so... I think Christie's value in this game lies in Endgame. Being unable to kill her. To potentially even consider saving her last flower petal. And she is a, she's still a nice forward bunker for a unit or two to position against this Alicia. So, with Sissy here, that limits Wedham's options. Um, with the Lancer that Sissy will summon, she will absorb one Wedham hit. So Wedham instead needs to wait for Pepsi, or Azusa, or even Archon to get some despair stacks up, that way Wedum can bypass guard. If you're using Wedum to just kill the Lancer, it's just totally a waste of your time, right? Mike brings a lot of Lancers against Dieheart, but... Hmm. He does have Ignore class at disadvantage when heroes attacks Ignore guard. It's still something against Dieheart after he runs out of his 3C, because he obviously brought Strike. Um, I guess Dieheart can't melee punch you, but the thing about that is Dieheart is one of those awkward melee units with a two-range troop. <laughs> so he doesn't do very much damage in melee at all. Again, Spike's, Spike has some units to private buffs here, Archon and Azusa. With this Alicia being Bracer, there's no way for Azusa to potentially snipe. Shouldn't be able to kill through rights. Can't really kill Himiko very quickly. The so Diehard's the only real target, and Diehard's one of the longest range units here, because Archon's also another unit you can't kill quickly. But there is an Archon on Spike's side as well.
So can Pepsi and Christy and Endgame overcome this very good trade talk? I did just see Die Hard fail to kill my Wedum. This is a Twilight Star Die Hard though, so... I failed to see... I Die Hard failed to kill my Wedum on a forest. I did have a Tank Aura. Christy's here. Um, it was not Twilight Star, but he did have Attack Blessing. So I don't know if Wedum dies here. Die Hard struggles against Wolf Wedum. That, that seems to be the case. I imagine he wastes a lot of ticks into hitting into the werewolves. So, while there's not a lot to assassinate on Simp's side, there's also not a lot to assassinate on Spike's side either. But that's sort of why Himiko's here, right? She's here to just lay down an AoE. Not bringing an attack buff for her because Die Hard has his. Or not bringing an attack buff on Sissy. Also wants the plus one Moby. Can give Sip a bit of a range advantage. What does Archon do? Oh, he was, Yeah, okay. He's just gonna pull Christy out of guard range. And then he goes for the Pepsi Snipe. Spike pushed up a bit too aggressively there. The... Mm. It, it, was one, it was one tile off, and then Sissy used Inspire, I think. The Spike miscounted a bit. Might not have known. Um, yeah, Archon was like right here, right? But yeah, he, if he had four, he'd move there. Yeah, I think I think it was the Inspire that changed that. Is it over? Well, Archon definitely dies here. Clocking that is very nice. Using Annihilation is tough, though. Oh, but a clock, so it's irrelevant. Sorry, had to clear my throat. Yeah, there, there's a clock, so it doesn't matter. I kind of like just saving it. Oh god, I have something stuck in my throat. Anyway, yeah. I like I like saving Annihilation just so you have it for later. Um, but I guess... Because I'm pretty sure Wedum would be able to kill this Archon anyway. Maybe I'm underestimating Archon. Spike's Archon, on the other hand, is just going to clean it up with a nice basic hit. Pepsi was definitely one of Spike's linchpins. 
after the trade games keep happening. There's also all, all these units on Spike side self-heal as well, so. Archon, I think, heals after combat. Hemico goes in. Puts down the lightning shuriken. This won't do anything to wet him. No clock. Very sad. It does injure him, but next turn, wet him can just uh, pull his sword or drop, use a sword. Breaking rights. I don't think Alicia will be able to kill. And the, the position is you can't kill Azusa. She has a shield up. Um, Archon will be out of tank range. But you can't kill him. He has a revive. Oh, but he won't be in water. But for Alicia to be able... Yeah, yeah, so if Archon won't be in water, then the 3C AoE afterwards should be enough to kill him, right? He'll, he only revives with 10%. Can Alicia do 1200 damage with an AoE? I think so. Because I'm pretty sure Alicia reaches, yeah. Um, and then she gets, what is it, two? Three. So yeah, she... Three, and then she acts again. Uh, that's, that's really hard to count, okay? One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Act again. One, two, three, one, two. I think she doesn't reach. Oh no, I'm... Yeah, yeah, no, I, I think she doesn't reach. Yep, she doesn't. Otherwise, she'd be going for that, I imagine. She can pass through units! Oh, damn. Okay, so she did reach. She did reach. I see. Himiko teleport gets burned. No, I'm, she could. It's, um... Oh, yeah. And, uh, yeah, it's one block. I thought I counted one block. Uh, I might have miscounted, yeah. I don't remember. <laughs> Just he puts up the Lancer, as mentioned. This prevents Ham from just diving in and killing stuff. There is Despair on Alicia, but that'll go away. There is no way to remove Despair on Die Hard at the moment, so she moved. But Die Hard has to back off a bit. Ham uses Am used his uh sword already, but as the clock, it'll be back up next turn. There's nowhere for Die Hard to really hide. I think Archon went for the pull because Himiko ceiling technique is just really annoying. <laughs> like, ceiling technique is actually the worst fit, the worst fate here than um, Himiko 3C. A, this pool of water is being a little bit relevant, even if, so yeah, even if Archon's out of tank range, now that he's in this pool of water, you can't kill him after revive. And just a debuff doesn't matter. Wedham had debuff immunity from all his art, and all his art is back up because of that clock. 
good case example of why Clock's so damn good on Wedum. Very long cooldowns. The despair on Alicia will be burned and Wedum can't reach. Uh, Die Heart. Who does have a stack of despair. Body blocking. Although I don't think Wedum reached anyway. Yeah, he didn't. He didn't. Even if it's, uh, um, Flyer Wedum, it wouldn't reach. This music feels a tad unfitting. <laughs> it's all good though. It's difficult for either player to engage in this position. Um, well, I don't think Spike has much of any reason to engage. Yeah, Zusa doesn't reach anything. Sooner or later, the fog will push Simp up. Simp's backup timer is looking a bit low, whereas Spike's feeling pretty comfy in this game. Definitely matter. Himiko's also lost her mobility buff. But this is a Bracer Wedum, so it wouldn't be effective against him. It would be effective against Azusa. But the worst part is her not having that mobility buff means... Oh, well. That's, yeah, I guess that's the thing. Do you trade Himiko's life for hitting Azusa? No. I think you had to, though. The issue is... Himiko's one of the units to die next turn. One turn up on her 3C. Yeah, axe her again. But now... Wedum can come in and kill her. So maybe that's what... Maybe that's what Simp wants here. Alicia comes in, uses Grenade Blast. I mean, you won't kill Azusa, you won't kill Archon. And maybe kill Ham, but if Ham comes in here to hit the Himiko, then Alicia can ideally kill the Ham after that. But Spike doesn't take it. Try to kill Azusa with AoE? You probably won't be able to kill Ham or Archon. If it's a Judge Talisman Himiko... Nope. Feels like JP Finals. <laughs> yeah, Alicia does reach, but I don't think this is enough to kill her. Like, I don't think I don't think Azusa will die. I keep forgetting to add foggers. I'll remember sooner or later. But Himiko Talon is back up from this. Greasy is up as well. At this point, you burn the Himiko Capital. And this feels... Look at look at all the stuff Himiko's stolen here. Or, no, that's because Sissy is plushy. And two turns from... Yeah. Yeah, that's a... That's a Sissy 3C. Azusa might die to this AoE afterwards. She might. But she couldn't have healed anyway. Be silenced. What does Die Hard take here? It takes the Arc now. Wasn't confident you could just kill Zusa, although you might be able to. The thing is, Die Hard stole the water. Plus, Archon had moved. 
or that, that might have been what happened. Archon moved and it got rid of its water and Tidal Surge was on its one turn cooldown. And now this is looking like a double kill. Uh, yeah, Ham gets stunned, there's no way to respond to this. Azusa can't do anything. This will probably save Azusa's life, but Archon's dead here for sure. Nonetheless, Spike will get turn priority. He can kill Die Hard after this. But Alicia's still lurking. And Ham will not... You can... No, there's no way to body block with Sword. The Meme are sure would be nice if... Well, I mean, the healing is still nice, but... It'd be nice if it removed these undispellable buffs. Medusa can't do much. All she can do is stand. So I guess you have to kill Die Hard with Azusa. Thankfully, she, for her, she doesn't get silenced again. That will result in Azusa fully healing. Oh, does Alicia go for it? She sure does. Going for the AoE to kill Azusa. Or, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, kills! Sissy 3C down for two turns. Wedum kills Alicia here, and then we reset. You can't kill Die Hard. The issue is if you kill Die Hard, then you're out of guard range, and Alicia will just kill you right after that, potentially. I, I feel like definitely, but she will be hit. She will get one hit by a ham sword here. So it will be a two v three. Oh uh, yeah, him. Him just moved his sword. And he's very obviously going for Alicia here. It's not Bracer, it's Overlord's badge. Interesting. Yeah, if um... I guess if it was Bracer, it might survive. She had the... She would have had, like... 60% damage reduction? Nothing to sneeze at. Block best enchant. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You know what uh, Spike could have done is put the sword, like, right there. <laughs> Block in this diehard from running away. <laughs> and then Spike would have been down a unit, and then he would have gotten the diehard kill right after that. Because there would be no way for diehard to run back into tank range. Diehard goes for a sword anyway. And unfortunately, while I have to really pee, this game goes to a game three, it's looking like. Unfortunately for me. Yeah, this goes to game three, I'll be right back after the, after the boxing. <laughs> after the game ends or as fast as possible. Yeah, Ham takes Die Hard's life here. I don't think Sim can recover from this. Another clock! This Ham is just going Ham. Here, girl, talents back up. 
You think Himiko can carry? Ceiling techniques back up. Lightning shuriken's up the turn after. It's a bracer ham, so there's no way to silence him. The guard dies next turn, but Sissy can immediately respond after that with summoning another guard as soon as that happens. Will Himiko's damage get through? Should have attacked to remove Himiko's talent. Yeah, before Sissy moved her lantern range. That's what it looked like. I, I don't think it was. Ham will be getting hit with some, a lot of ninjutsu debuffs here. This shouldn't be too relevant. Um, you attack with Christy to kill the Lancer, and then Sissy has to respond with moving again and summoning another Lancer, and then let him kill the other Lancer. Oh, the Despair Stack! The Despair Stack. I forgot. Ignore Guard. But Wedham can't kill the sissy. But he clocks again! <laughs> what the hell, dude? This is illegal. I think his soldiers didn't attack. Yeah, I think the um, Himiko minus one range or something. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know why that happened. <laughs> and Sissy summons another Lancer, but again, she is heal reversed and has a despair set. Cannot attack Diva, I see. But. The spike has to kill Sissy, right? Ham can move here. <laughs> well, no, Ham has to stay here. Christy can't reach here. So you kill the Sissy, and then the Lancer moves up, and that continues to block Christy out, but Christy just punches the Lancer once, and that kills the Lancer. And yeah, why well, did you give it up? <laughs> or sent. Let me get in the game real quick. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, I'll be right back. I've returned. All skill indeed, because it kept clocking and having its cooldown reset. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so... Tip makes another couple of adjustments here. I think he brought back in some units he had from the first round. Spike takes out t -Jess and goes back to his original box. Like, sticking with his gameplay. Yeah, without clock, 
that 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 is a different game, but um it's how Lang goes, dog. <laughs> Sometimes the RNG gods do not smile upon you. Sub's also sticking to the first band writer. Era, I think, wasn't in here before at all. Definitely bringing out a lot of different stuff. This time the game plan is not first band, Hilda. That was game two. Seems like with this Hilda first pick, Sip wants to play a tank push game. Effective against Elwyn, effective against Helena. Not so effective against Azusa, but I mean, if you don't get- if Azusa can't get an attack buff like she has continually been un unable to do, then I don't think she's gonna be able to kill this Hilda. Spike banning against Lucretia. AoE fall up. We also see Alt brought back in Sim's box. Increase is also mass attack, which is ever valuable. It does leave up IBC. And after um, Spike's prodigious ham showcase last game, <laughs> uh, Spike decided to ban Wedem. And Azusa, at the very least, could disable Hill Dead, though. Yeah, especially if you can ban out the healers. This time Spike first picks Lucretia. That does give Simp the option here of double banning Spike's tanks. And then Spike would probably want to respond with a sissy pick? Because yeah, that's exactly where I thought Simp was going with that. You pick up alt and then if it's going to be a tankless comp, then alt can double kill. Meanwhile, Spike's with a lot of his units gonna have to be ramming into this Hilda. Archon's also been nullified by this Hilda pick. As long as you bring her 3C. Not that you shouldn't. <laughs> Need to ban Burn? Yeah, you have to prevent Ultimular from getting a faction buff, which is exactly what Spike goes for. Or at least you have to force Alton Mueller into bringing his own faction buff, that way he's less effective. The Spike's not concerned. He's gonna pick Weta. So, Alt is sort of a ticking time bomb. This is a very good Alton Mueller map as well. We saw last game that Spike's ham is Bracer. Spike an alt player too. True. IBC gets banned just for attack or uh, mass attack. If this wasn't Sky Map, IBC would be a great second pick for Spike. I think you might have done that anyway. Yeah, the story of this set so far is that Spike has continuously been pushed into not having an attack buff for his units, which has limited their performance to some extent. But Lucretia does solve that. Still, the mobility buff is fantastic anyway, as is the soldier buff. But Spike gets up. Spike gets IBC anyway. Spike chooses to ban Alicia. And, F and Pepsi. Both good endgame unit, or Epsilon is a really good endgame unit. Uh, just the mass healing, taking a lot of actions to kill, always annoying, and I think he's just tired of Alicia's shit. And does it, it feel, and Spike feels like he can handle the rest, but of course, 
Um, with this left in your box, you sort of have to ban Rosin. But interestingly, Helena gets left up and, like, gets left to do so. However, Spike doesn't want to get left out without a healer against the Autocrato, so picks up Sissy, and then Azusa goes. Simp had a good read there. And so we have a double act again composition. Obviously there's no way you pick Archon. He's gonna be totally useless against Masilda. Um, Spike on the other hand banning out Christy. Himiko last, doesn't want to give Autocrato another AoE follow-up. Great example of why New Rash is a bait unit to build. Can definitely end up dead weight in a lot of bad picks. You really need your box to be designed around first fan Hilda, I think. The Kira last. What can Kira kill here? Um, it is Gargoyle Ham. I don't. She might be able to kill him with Faith. It's also Bracer Hand, so Autocrado fixed damage isn't going through. I guess she, yeah, she brings Dark Elf Snipers, and then she should be able to kill the Ham, no problem. That's her target. Lucretia can eventually burn through this, but I think ult's going to be a huge issue for Spike here. Spike really has to make something happen with these two act agains. And with IBC and Ham punching into Hilda, no great way to get the spare stacks through. And even supposing you get the spare stacks through, there's a Kira and a Liana to be able to kill them. I think I favor Simp's composition here. Alt feels like an inevitable win. But we'll see, for sure. Lucretia still has Black Hole, which could work some magic by use of time. It's difficult on this map to get into a position where you aren't in tank range. The plan for Spike is to spell Gospel on Hill Dead. Yeah. And even then, Simp has a big advantage. Yeah, that's the thing, because it's 2 DPS, or 3 DPS on Simp's side. Trading is not favorable, and spending time killing this Hilda, it, it, just by then, <laughs> there's too much to kill. And this map also does make it pretty awkward to reach with the act against. <laughs> it's a very good auto map, too. It's, um, 3C, 4 uh, cardinal direction movement can really mess you up on this map. And brings gargoyles, which is really damn risky against Kira here. If this is like a holy Kira, that ham is dead as shit. But it doesn't even look like that's what Kira is going for with Faceless. What is she going for? I don't think she can kill IBC. She didn't bring Faith. And even then, I don't think I don't think she can kill with Faith anyway. I think Sansies are a bit too strong, and there's no um, damage buff differential here. If anything, that would be on Spike's side with the Sissy act again. We also see that this is probably a plushy Sissy. If it's not green skill, that's usually what that means. I can see the game plan here. You want the puppet to have the additional mobility so you can make some big hit and run swaps. Because you can't give alt too much space. Alt is limited to pushing up here or here. I mean, well, I don't think Ham would kill him anyway, actually, so. 
but still wants to be in range of Hilda's guard just in case IDC goes in. Does not breeze. This ult's not been having a good day with that. Maybe it doesn't breeze, but I doubt it. It's it's by and far his best enchant. Green skill on this Kira. Is this Bracer? Uh, yeah, there can't be anything else, right? I mean, it's not our guy, and it's definitely not Overlord's bad, so it has to be Bracer. Simp with a lot of bait units. Even playing some mind games telling people that he has Bracer Alicia and uses her frequently. Core of Guile? <laughs> um Yeah, that that is uh that is something she could run, I guess. <laughs> yeah, the uh new Killer anti fix accessory. Yeah, that, that is an option. Um, I was saying Simp's been telling people, oh yeah, I'm running that bracer Alicia dog. Then brings out the Overlord's badge Alicia. Does it is it Oh, it doesn't do skill, then yeah, it's not that. I thought it was all stats plus five percent, because we said that, DC. <laughs> yeah, it's just healing effect, okay. Yeah, it has to be Bracer. It's all up to these act agains to make something happen, and Hilda brought Templar Knights, expecting IBC to bring Sansies, which is pretty common. Insidious pendant for the crit? No. There there's Um Definitely not. If she did have that, she'd have more attack. But, yeah, that is all stats plus 5%. <laughs> it, it is not an attack accessory. She does not have enough attack for that to be an attack accessory. But she does have an attack buff. There is no way. You, and you would not have this much in either. It's Bracer with a very high int enchant. I'm quite sure. Um, what I was saying was IBC against Hilda. Hilda's usually going to tech Templar Knights against that, so IBC can try to bring Amazons or even Unicorns. Probably leaning more towards... Um, Unicorns? Or... Amazons? Kinda? It, it's tough. It's tough. They can both work, but they usually tend to work better than Sansi's. Still, if the idea is to remove the guard, Hilda is unique. She has two guards, that's, that's a hard win condition there. They went all the way, Holy Maidens and Bracer. Yeah, usually if you see a Bracer, Kira, or generally, more commonly, you see Medring. <laughs> Just because Bracer doesn't offer her too much. I mean, it is nice, but... But yeah, usually you see Holy and you can go, like, Shrine Maidens. Because what is, like, Faceless... Bracer, Kira, really bait. I don't know. I don't know the use case for these dark memes. <laughs> Other Kiras, I guess? Maybe? <laughs> we should not bring any AoE, which I mean... AoE wasn't gonna, probably wasn't gonna do too much anyway. I still could have bought a turn of time. The plan is to bust Hilda. Win ride on him.
I think I think that's a good choice. It's so important that Spike's gonna stay alive. But Spike does need to buy time until Simp's team is close enough. So he, he, he can actually act again his units, and get through. We do see that it's a Breeze Kira, which tells you that her kill potential is also lowered by that. Meteor is her highest damage of chance. This infantry showing how Nice it is on this map. To be able to you can block out assassins really easily just using these with pillar positions. Even any any grounded units. Liana Brain Templar is also a choice against IVC, I imagine. I think it just doesn't matter too much what troop Liana has. That was, I mean, monks could have been. Monks, monks were probably good. This is Kira's range. Well, really, she can hit anything. Rather, this is her, um, minimum teleport range, or she could, like, hit ham and then teleport back here. But she has to go in deeper. Um, Hilda's just sitting here, so I don't imagine Kira's going in. She doesn't have anything great to trade for. Giving the spare stacks is not exactly the worst thing, unless Liana's moved. Kira's gospeled, so she can't get any. Alt is also gospeled, so he can't get any. <laughs> but yeah, his spare as a win condition is not looking strong. Auto could pull someone in place of infantry. Yep, he could have pulled IBC forward, but I mean, if you do that, then oh wait, yeah, no, then well, IBC could have she she would have had to burn her act again. I can see why Sim doesn't go for it because he wants to be able to spam the auto three C. Well, it's just one auto three C will not necessarily do too much, and then it'll be if it doesn't clock, it'll be down for the rest of the game basically. Obviously, you could just back off. It would burn her act again, which is not exactly what like wants, but it forces a unit deeper in. Um, she would have been like right here. Yeah, I guess, I guess that would have been fine. She could have just teleported right back. And then the question is, does she kill? Probably because of the six damage, although the Sansi is being full HP. <laughs> Look, I'm not calling him real Alicia Sip every time. <laughs> and since he chose this name, I'm sure he's proud of it. Timer is going down for both players. I can see it's difficult for Simp to get anything here. Spike's probably just going to be chilling in the fog, near the fog. He wants to pull people in. He's also zoning this Ultimuler. As is his infantry. Oh, yeah, will Kira do it? I do not think so. But probably the bigger thing is, is there a punish? 
Yeah, there is. You kill the Kira right after. With Lucretia. Yeah, no crit. Um, supposing that crit happens, good chance IBC is dead. It was pretty close. You're, uh, yeah, it, 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 was, it was definitely fair. Because the thing is, Sim can afford to lose her, right? Alt is still a huge threat to Spike. Especially if you can get a pull with Lucretia. Um, away from her puppet. Like being conservative, not using his act again. Being down a unit with double act again is very scary, yeah. So, Kira might not have much value in terms of what she can hit, but losing that for the purpose of turn order shenanigans is very scary. So. Oh, wet him? You know, I kind of. If. Well, I guess if you move. One, two, three, four, five, seven. Alt's tele Alt's pull is random, so it is possible Lucretia can get pulled right here. Um, Ham can just move away. Yeah, Alt's probably going in. But you could body block, you could go in, you could do crazy stuff, like put a sword right there, okay, yeah, that's exactly what he's going for. And a clock! Oh my god, is this gonna be game two over again? <laughs> I don't think the defender matters there. I'm pretty sure Hilda lives it anyway. But it maybe not because of Templars. Maybe not. So this alt doesn't have a pull. Oh, I I sorry, he had I I, I just miscounted, whatever. <laughs> it's fine. Okay, so you kill IBC first? Yeah, because she's a lot bulkier and you can just kill Lucretia with a basic attack. <laughs> yeah, no, it's still body blocked and prevented a worse pull for sure. Um, yeah, I kind of don't like using 3C there. I'm, I'm very confident that Lucretia would die to this ult. Um, I guess Tenyo could happen, but... I mean, I guess ult's gonna die. Any ult's gonna die for this anyway. So, you might as well just use the 3C. It, I'm just nitpicking about stuff that doesn't matter. And auto doesn't get anything. So suddenly looking really good for Spike. Or yeah, Simp. <laughs> I was reading that as you said that. Yeah, Lucretia is gift of eternal life, so. Well the thing is nothing can reach anyway. Um Autocrado's being blocked. So. And there's no way for Alt to get out. And even if Alt somehow lives that, there's two act agains here. Yeah, yeah, Ham Ham's fine to just move back. Um, I, I was just saying Autocrado wasn't following up on the Lucretia, so the hitting Alt there wasn't exactly greedy. Alt never fails to disappoint. I, I like him. He's, he's done well for me, generally. <laughs> yeah, 
and I'm not doing much. Not a holy unit. If this was a holy unit, then or if Liana was holy, she'd wipe those werewolves, they'd all die. And it still wouldn't matter much because Ham just runs away. Well, at least Ham didn't clock uh, Annihilation, right? But there's just... It's a wind ride, Ham. He had three units around him. You're just doing nothing. He used his final luck. <laughs> That was, um, that was definitely a hell of a clock fest. Tanks are so god awful. I've been doing okay, I'm not, I, I don't know if I'm fighting particularly strong people, but... I... I think, I think if Sip plays, Sip just got hasty, right? If you wait... And just don't go in with Cura and force, but force Spike up with the fog. Then Otto can start doing a stuff with 3C. Um, just giving up the Cura and going down a unit was too much. And that's GG. Very long set. Very comprehensive commentary, I think. I don't have much else to add. Congratulations to Spike for advancing to, to the finals. He will be fighting Vanson. And better luck next time, Chuseo.